Not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting to see anything from this film anytime soon. So when it comes down to what's going to happen in Avengers 4, the information that we do have is rather vague at best. Even though the movie is going to come out in just under a year away. But just recently there has been some leaks in relation to the promo art featuring some of the characters that will appear in Avengers 4 and apparently they are supposed to be legit. And I won't lie, these images are rather juicy. Now the first leaked image we have right there is of course of the remaining heroes who survived the events of Avengers Infinity War. With the team consisting of Steve Rogers who is supposedly back in his Captain America persona. Alongside Iron Man who surprisingly doesn't have a new armor this time around. As well as Thor who's pretty much wearing the same thing. As well as Black Widow who is now sporting the red hair again. And the remaining Guardians such as Rocket and Nebula who again, they haven't really changed. And we even have the new inclusions such as Captain Marvel and Ant-Man who I don't think neither of them are going to have much of a difference in terms of costumes. But the really interesting one is of course War Machine who has quite possibly the bulkiest armor he has ever worn so far. As well as Hulk who is actually wearing a completely different costume for once and he does look a little smaller which could be due to the fact that both Bruce Banner and the Hulk are now one and the same. And lastly we do finally get to see Hawkeye and surprisingly enough he's not even ruining here. Not to mention that we also do have another piece of promo art featuring Thanos in his brand new armor as well as his new weaponry. Which is really interesting because despite how Thanos still has all of the Infinity Stones as well as the full gauntlet, he still very much has the full armor. And not only that, he also has this new sort of sword which was something he was spotted using during some of the promo art for Infinity War, which was something we've never seen in the final product. So I assume that they're going to recycle that element for Thanos for Avengers 4, which either way he still looks incredibly badass. However, what I find rather surprising is the fact that we haven't even seen Wasp in any of these promo arts, which many people are assuming that by the time Ant-Man and the Wasp is over, we do get to see the Wasp disintegrate alongside pretty much everyone else who died in the end of Infinity War, which wouldn't surprise me given how Angeline Lilly did confirm that she won't be in Avengers 4 for very long, but she is still in there regardless. But either way, it should be rather interesting to see how the characters are going to evolve by the time we get to the ending of Avengers 4. But overall, all of the designs that we've seen featuring all of the remaining heroes as well as Thanos do look rather kick-ass. And it does have me all the more intrigued as to where the MCU will be heading next. So what do you think of our first possible look at Avengers 4 and what are some of your personal favourites or least favourite designs for these characters? Comment below and share some thoughts. And as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Take care and have a good one.